I love the Uzi Pro. You've seen it in a few videos and you're gonna see it again because I've kind of tinkered with it even more. Misha here. And I think the last time I did a full length video on this, it was talking about it being canceled because of the barrel situation. Now, some said back then, hey, they're just getting rid of the non-threaded barrel. They're going to the threaded barrel. And that's true. And I looked on their website, the threaded barrel version of this is still listed out of stock. And at least the three or four distributors that carry IWI USA out of stock. And this has been not just recent with all the Middle Eastern events happening, but for the last year, I haven't seen any Uzi Pros in stock at the distributor. Maybe you have. Let me know in the comments below. And with that, before you dive in, you know the deal, but we're on YouTube, so it's obligatory. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Cost you nothing, helps us out a lot. And you know, good things, karma. And if you really like to help us get out and shoot more, check out the Patreon. We have a new range builder tier. And if not that, which I know, you know, that's more of a wishful thinking thing, but hey. You can do the bucking up a month, and as soon as building is done out there, we'll probably do a lot more live streams from there, too. So with that, let's talk the Uzi Pro. Now back around Christmas, New Year's, we did a pistol brace video. And this was one of my top five braced pistols. But we only showed a little bit of that shooting footage. Now, I'd actually recorded a talk, but we had Barky Dog. If anyone remembers the uh, videos from the couple of them back then, there was the Barky Neighbor Dog. So I didn't, didn't end up into using it and just kind of put the uh, range footage on ice. But as you always, it's a pleasure to shoot. But looking at that clip, you'll notice it's a little bit different configuration. Uzi Pro. So yeah, we'll get into my changes here in just a minute, but Fox had never, I don't know if he'd never ever seen one of these, I know he had not ever uh, fired one. So let's revisit his feelings from back in December, January about one of my favorite little guns. Fox's first shots with the Uzi Pro. Dude, I love this little thing. And now to the present. If you saw my Beretta PMXS video, I had the folding brace from A3 Tactical on it. Now, this comes from IWI with this folding tube. Although I swapped out the kind of chunky IWI rubber piece for this kind of slim one from SB Tactical. Fits a little loose, but it's fine. And also, in that first few clips there, you saw a different sight. I had this one. This originally was on my uh, Beretta ARX, but that now is sporting an aim point, which freed this up, and I think it's a better fit and feel for this gun. So with that, let's talk about three different magazines that are available for this. We have small, medium, and large. <laughs> now the Uzi Pro mag is still essentially the same Uzi mag we know and love. In fact, it'll fit in older pre-band Uzis. It has the cutout. But they also have these two extra cutouts here for the new Browning style release. So I wanted to see how this would fit the little 20 with this new foregrip that bolts down up here. So it obviously fits quite well. It's, it's very flush. 
but let's see how it shoots. With the little mag. It goes quick and I forget it didn't have a bolt hold open. <laughs> yeah, I stopped and wondered for a second too. <laughs> I mean, not that I was expecting any troubles. This is more or less the standard size in use since the 50s. Now with the medium bear mag. No surprises again. And the big one, which really was introduced in the 70s or even 80s. And now at the big one. All right, so not that I was worrying about the mags not working. I just like shooting this gun. But yeah, no no interference, even though this hangs down a bit. The only thing that kind of bugged me was the sling I had on. This is the one you saw earlier, and it's back on now. But for that day, I had this one on, which is a nice sling. It actually came with the HK SP5. But this was kind of riding up and hitting my face. So when I got back, I uh, put this one back on. It's, it's light. It's handy. Although with this foregrip, or you know, it's technically considered an angle grip. It's legal on a pistol. You do have this little catch up here, which you can use as a second sling point. And I did try it. And a standard mini or micro Uzi sling will clip on front and back. So you could go to a two point design if you wanted to. But meh. As much as I'm not a huge fan of single point slings, there are certain guns like this that really do, uh, really do need them. So I wanted to point that out. So this is the foregrip. Now, there are actually a few different styles that they make. And here's another one. It's more of a traditional angled foregrip. Notice it's relieved back here. This is from A3 Tactical again, and I bought these. These were not sent to me. I grabbed both so I could get free shipping. And I thought, you know, it's nice to try both. But yeah, I like how they relieved it for the trigger guard. Otherwise, it's exact right length for the small rail. And we do have the hand stop, which I really do really like hand stops. I'm, I'm glad that a lot of modern PCCs and things come with those. Safety. This has it too. And you notice this has the cutout where this goes around the trigger guard here. And comes down here and has this little bump. This isn't connected to the bottom of the grip, but it's very secure. I mean, yeah. Can't really move it. It's just held on with two screws. They did have a version that had side rails. And I know the military Uzi Pro does have side rails, not just top and bottom. But I knew I would never use them. It would just add bulk. So, I got this style. And the reason I think I like this one on the gun a little better... If you look at pictures of the military gun, there is kind of a foregrip attachment that does give it kind of this open saber type grip. It's not identical, but I like it. But with that, we already talked about how Fox felt on his first try. Let's see what j -Row thinks of the Uzi Pro. All right, now j -Row with the Pro. I'm sure you fired that one before. No, I hadn't. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, well, I think some of the the ergonomics of some of the controls are a little weird for my hand. <laughs> but that's just because I mean these things are tiny. Uh, there's there's never going to be such a thing as one <laughs> size fits all. Uh, like the mag release over here is a little for, further forward than I like. But I do kind of like this uh, like the trigger guard plus hand stop. Yeah, and that's like, the new I was part. shooting it just now, I had my hand in front of the trigger guard here now obviously you never want to be out here yeah uh and thankfully so I, it does have the little hand stop so and so i Very like good. the fact that they kind of gave you uh an alternative place to really rest your hand and snug the gun in um no overall i like it i mean it's an uzi it runs like an uzi yep. um 
it's it's a little like i said ergonomically it's a little awkward for me but uh i still like it ran great while recording this jero said it is kind of hard to figure out what to call this i mean on paper it is an angled foregrip but it's really just kind of a rail cover with the stop that also makes it into a large kind of almost tavor style thing either way we both agree we like it and uh yeah obviously the gun ran reliably for him too and uh it's nothing fancy but it works of course your original uzi had a non-reciprocating charging handle up here now the uzi pro is based on the micro uzi and that has a very interesting history the original full size of course came about in the 50s it had a 10 and a half inch barrel pretty heavy gun but it was a revolutionary smg for the day the mini came about development in the late 70s to compete with newer guns like the hk it was released in the very early 80s 80 81 82 and had a 7.8 inch barrel and a much more compacted receiver. I'll be honest, the Mini Uzi overall is my favorite Uzi. In 1984, they worked on and made the Uzi Pistol, a semi-automatic pistol with about a four and a half inch barrel, no stock because pistol. And I've, I've owned one, but it was before we did the channel, so no videos on it. I sold it because it was big, clunky, it was before braces, and yeah, it was a thing. But that actually got developed into the micro Uzi submachine gun, which appeared around 86, which took the little pistol, extended the barrel out a little bit, gave it a recoil check break, and put a stock on it, similar to the minis, but not the same. And I think some even had bayonet lugs, not for bayonets so much as just attachments. It would be cool to have an SBR micro Uzi, but I've never owned one. And this is an evolution of that. In 2010, they introduced the Pro. And it really is just a micro, but they move the charging handle from up here to the side so you can have a uh, top rail. Now, this is, of course, just a removable part. And there would always be a concern having that, that it would get loose. But I've, I've shot the crap out of this gun. And this is plenty stable, even now, with um, you know, all that said, for, for this type of gun. Now you notice this cut out here. On the original micro, that was actually for the charging handle because if it was way up here, it wouldn't fit. But it also serves as a kind of a lightning cut for your bolt, and that means your handle's over here. Now it is reciprocating now. And of course it is a closed bolt. And yes, this is dirty. <laughs> now whereas the, sorry, <laughs> Whereas the full size was an open bolt gun, the little guns were always closed bolt for reasons. They also had this uh, out of battery safety here, which again is a good thing. So I kind of like that, that it's not a modified open to closed. Now I'm sure, I as I was saying, it has reasons um, to do that. There's the little safety there. They probably make it either way. Some of your minis were also closed bolt only. And of course, we have a stamp steel receiver, heat treated. And, but now we have this polymer lower and rails. Funny thing is, because of the rails and other features, this is actually heavier. And of course, we have the Browning style mag release. Nice striker fired trigger. We still have a grip safety, manual safety. It's a pretty safe little gun with the outer battery safety included. Luckily, the ATF does not consider that any type of machine gun part. We first saw it here with the uh, full-size Uzi Model B. Simple. And I like that. See, nice and tight. Adjustable rear sight. Adjustable front sight. Like I said, these come, originally they would offer them with or without brace, now it's just brace the standard. I do like that we have a sling swivel. Trigger, it's fine. It's not amazing, but does it need to be? But one thing I did change was the barrel. This barrel was one of the first upgrades 
gave to it. Notice it has these V cuts or U cuts. Those really do help, not so much with recoil, is torque. With a little gun like this, especially short barrel, this is about 4.6. The military guns can have longer barrels. The torque will kind of get you. Here's the original barrel. It's slightly shorter, not by much. And of course it doesn't have the uh, compensator cuts. I picked this up from RTG a long time ago. But yeah, that's that's something I, I installed and really do enjoy it. And of course, because it's an Uzi, you just have a nut that holds your barrel in. Simple as can be. I'd actually like to find a slightly longer barrel. I will mention it, just in case it, you don't realize. The full size, the mini, and the micro all take different barrels because the receivers are different lengths. If you try to put a full size barrel in, the locking collar, the neck would be way out here. So that's not going to work. Yeah, I've kind of tweaked this gun over the years. And I'm, every time I do, I get a little happier with it. Here's a pouch. It also came with the cleaning kit. I just had this to hand because I wanted to show you the barrel. Fit in here. Get a sectional cleaning rod, oiler, brush. But probably most importantly, you do have a sight adjustment tool. In a day and time where you're pretty much just getting most guns with one mag in a box, not even always a manual, it's kind of nice that this came with some stuff. It actually came with two mags, the 20 and the 25. These little 20s are actually kind of hard to find. They've only ever shipped them really with the pistols and the minis. They're kind of a, or micros, kind of a specialty mag. I only have a couple of them, but the uh, other ones here are pretty well standard. Paint, a paint finish over phosphate. Back when these were easy to get, you could get brand new mags for $19.95, and uh, that was nice. I think the 25s were $17.95, and the, the bigger ones were uh, $19.95, but the 20s were almost always out of stock. And uh, IWI has offered to the military stock if you want to SBR it. And they even, it's easy to put on. There's just two roll pins and this slides up. I considered it seriously, but frankly, this brace and not having to pay the money and have it registered. Why not? Had a little more left in a box, so. These I don't think I'll ever get tired of shooting this gun. It's not ammo sensitive either. I like how the brace folds. I was saying, Jared, it's still stiff after all this time. One reason I put this slim one on, the trigger guard is a little bit covered up, but you can still reach it. With the factory one, it pretty much blocked this all off. But, yeah, I can still do it. Not as comfortably as deployed, but it's at least still accessible, including the uh, A3, whatever you want to call this, rail cover, vertical, or angled foregrip, rather, trigger guard. But I'm glad I grabbed it. Because I was mostly ordering from them to get the uh, brace for the Beretta, but I thought this sounds neat. Now keep in mind, for me, shopping online, I can't see the photos, so I really didn't know what I was getting myself in for. So when I got it, I was really impressed how well it fit the gun. In fact, you kind of notice there, j -Row just assumed it was kind of made by IWI. It doesn't come across as clunky or aftermarket, and it didn't get loose on us or anything else weird during the shooting. And again, it even lets you get your short mags in, no problem. So, all in all, a success. Do you own an Uzi Pro? If so, let me know what you think. There was a time when people didn't really see the point of these. I think their public opinion has kind of gotten better over the years. I've always thought they were cool. And they were very affordable back when this came in. Uh, roughly a thousand bucks with the brace, 850 without the brace. I'm, I'm talking years ago, because I, I picked this up pretty much when they first came out. Figured, heck, why not? 
already got a full-size Uzi and a mini Uzi. Kind of miss my Uzi pistol, even though I kind of also hated shooting it, especially in 45, because mine came with both uh, kits, 9 and 45. But yeah, this is definitely superior to the Uzi pistol from back in the 80s, early 90s. No argument there. And I know mags are kind of hard to find for these now. I, if you had someone with skill that really had the dimensions, you could take a standard Uzi mag, because those are still available for about 10 bucks a mag, and make these cutouts. But I wouldn't just try to do it at home with the Dremel, because it needs to line up properly. But yeah, just a gun that I like to revisit from time to time, and I hope IWI does put more on the market. Just a fun little gun. I wouldn't mind getting a longer barrel, maybe one of the uh, like five, five and a quarter. Some of the military guns are even showing with like a 6.8 inch barrel. Almost as long as a mini Uzi, which is kind of hilarious, but hey. But yeah, just hanging out. Now you got Fox and J-Rose opinion. You know mine. Let me know yours. If you could, comment that. Like, share, subscribe. Visit Patreon. Support is really needed because, you know, the situation with YouTube now. Either way, we'll keep making videos as long as we can. This is Misha. Catch you very soon.